Hi everyone, it's me brother Randy again and I was thinking how honest are we with God in our prayers? I wanted to share with you a scripture from Genesis 15 and read just a few verses I dealt with Abram. It says, After this, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your great, very great reward. But Abram said, O sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless? And the one who will inherit my state is Eliezer of Damascus. And Abram said, you have given me no children, so a servant in my household will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him, This man will not be your heir, but a son coming from your own body will be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look up at the heavens and count the stars, if indeed you can count them. Then he said to him, so shall your offspring be. Abraham, Abram believed the Lord, and he credited it, it to him as righteousness. Now, Genesis 15 ties back to Genesis 12, where God called Abram out of the earth of the Chaldees and told him he's going to make him a great, you know, a great nation. Uh, and he'd have a great number of seed and all the nations of the earth would be blessed because of him. And now we come in, uh, some years later, Genesis 15, and Abram basically says to the Lord, when the Lord says, don't be afraid, you know, I'm your shield, your great reward. Abram was very honest in his prayer to God. Now he wasn't being disrespectful but he said, basically, and I'm a paraphrase, Lord, I don't have no children, and I don't have no land. I, he's basically saying, look, I followed you here to the land of promise from the Ur of the Chaldees. You promised to make me a great nation. You promised me a child, children. You promised me land. And I have neither. I like how that Abram was honest with God because I think a lot of times in our prayers we don't have a conversation with God. And we just, um, oh, we sometimes overly pious. We're not honest. We'll be thinking about things, about why things haven't happened the way they we think the way they should be going and we're doubting God but we won't express it to him look scripture tells us to come boldly unto the, his throne of grace in our time of need Abram here asked God says Lord how, how's anything going to happen I don't have nothing you've promised but God reaffirmed his covenant promise. He, he, he told him, you know, uh, look up at the heavens and count the stars. If you can indeed. That's going to be how your offspring, the number shall your offspring be. Uh, and that you are going to have a son. You're going to have a son. And it, and it states that Abram believed God and it was counted unto him as righteousness. Abram had faith in God. Of course, I believe the Apostle Paul later in the book of Romans, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uses this to show that we're justified by faith. But what I want to get at is that in our prayers, be honest with God. Look, God isn't going to send a thunderbolt and blow, blow you up if you question him. And I'm not talking about shaking your fist at heaven. I'm not talking about uh, 
uh, blaspheming God or being disrespectful, but asking him, L Lord, uh, why why isn't this happening in my life? Why why are these things going on? Uh, I pray and I pray and I don't seem to get answers. Be honest with God in your prayers. And I tell you what, I believe God will bless you. And he'll give you his strength. Have faith in God. Believe in God in his word. Amen.